In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this beautiful natural makeup look that is good for spring and summertime that you can wear year round actually and that's just like so natural and so beautiful. People are not even going to think you have makeup on but little do they know you got makeup on. So if you guys would like to see how I created this look then just keep watching. <laughs> What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel Lashana Bianca. It's your girl Lashana Bianca here back with another video. If this is your first time ever seeing or noticing my channel, thank you guys for clicking on this video. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. You're gonna love it here, I promise. Don't forget to like and comment on this video as well. So I wanted to come and give you guys like a spring makeup look for women of color, especially my dark skin girls out there. But this is really for all women of color, all black women out there because you know I represent the black woman because I'm a black woman and I just wanted to show you guys a go-to look that you can do in warm weather even though it's getting warm some of us still want to have you know a cute little face but there's ways to do it so that you're not like melting but you know you're also still be so if you would like to see this video then just keep on watching because I'm about to show you my go-to spring summer makeup look okay so let's get it Okay, guys, so the first thing you're going to want to do when you're doing your makeup, any type of makeup, especially in warm weather, is start with a really good primer. I have the Milk Hydro Grip Primer here that I'm going to be using to do my face. And basically, you guys, this is only going to be my third time using it, and I love it. Look how fast it goes, though. I used it twice, and it's already down there. I love this product. Like, it glues the makeup to your face. So I just take a little bit, like, right here. And I'm just going to work this all over. Before you do this, of course, you want to make sure that you moisturize your face. You do your skin routine, which I already did. The next thing I love to do is go in with my Got To Be Glue. And I love to gel my eyebrows down. I do not know where I got this from and why I started doing it. I think I actually got this from Aaliyah's face. I don't know if she was using soap or if she was using this. I don't know who I saw using it. But yeah, basically, I just take a little bit, like such a tiny amount. You can barely see it on my fingers. And I'm just going to rub this in my eyebrows to push all the hairs down. And then I like to take a edge brush like this one with some hair in it, extra flavor, and brush my eyebrows down. Just like that. And this really helps if you are like in between eyebrow waxes or threading or whatever you do. Or if you ain't do nothing. This is just really good to keep your eyebrow hairs down and in place. Especially when you go to apply makeup. Now for me, whenever I do my makeup, the first thing I like to start with are my eyebrows. I know some people like to start with their foundation. I'm going to be going in with my NYX Micro Brow Pencil. And this is in the color Espresso. And I'm going to be using this really, really tiny, fine point right here to fill in my eyebrows. Now, throughout the years since I've been doing makeup and stuff, I find that when you use a skinny tip pencil like the one I'm using now, it allows your eyebrows to look so much more natural because the skinny tip is going to mimic your eyebrow hairs. It's going to look like eyebrow hair, okay? That, and that makes sense when you think about it. If you use like a lip pencil, which can give you the same look, of course, but the pencil is automatically thicker. So it's going to give you more of a you know just a thick brown brow that was a mouthful see like that like so like that this looks like my eyebrow <laughs> this looks like my eyebrow this is not look like you know i took a bunch of stuff and put it in there this looks like an eyebrow okay period so i'm just going to repeat that step on this eyebrow so same thing I like to take my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Espresso, and I like to clean up my eyebrows using a flat brush like this one from Anastasia Beverly. It's the flat brush that comes with the dip brow kit or whatever that they sell together or around each other, something like that. So I like to use this and just clean up my brows. So I literally just take it and like just paint it, paint the paintbrush. 
and with everything i do i don't go crazy i don't use a lot of products this is what makes this look ideal for like spring and summer look because if you overdo it you're gonna melt your face off period so then i just take my flat brush and outline the shape of my brows i think it's so important to turn your head while you are outlining your brow so you can see what you're actually doing. If you're just holding your head straight and trying to draw, you're gonna mess it up. So yeah, definitely turn, rotate your head as you're drawing your eyebrows on. Same thing for the top. And then I like to draw, bring down the concealer a little lower to the lower part of my eyelid, like this. So just drag it down. This is my Real Technique Concealer Brush, you guys. And I like to take this and just buff it out. Blend all that out that you dragged underneath the brow and right on your eyelid, just blend it all out. Now, to clean it up even more, you're gonna wanna take like a spoolie, the other end of my flat brush that I use, take that spoolie in and just comb through the hairs just to break up any blockiness that may be in there. Giving the girls eyebrow number one, so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next brow. So now, our eyebrows are complete. We're gonna move on to the rest of our face, the main thing, you guys. So, I recently have just moved from Rihanna's Fenty Matte Foundation to the Dewy Foundation. So I'm gonna be using the Pro Filler Hydrating Longwear Foundation in the color 445. So if you're around my skin tone, I'm using 445, and this just matched my skin so perfectly. Like, I was very impressed when I first tried it on in Sephora. So I'm gonna use my Real Techniques brush and this is the face brush. So it's a very dense brush as you guys can see. And I'm gonna apply some squirt to the back of my hand like this, more than enough for this first go around. Mix it in like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to my face. So you guys check out this coverage. And I love the finish on this. Like this looks like skin. This looks like skin, like this is real skin. This is a side with no foundation on it. This is a side with foundation on it. And like I said, I do everything very light. I'm not a cakey girl. So of course you can always add more if you would like to, but this is good for me right here. Okay, so you guys, this is my face after I've applied my foundation to my full face. I love this dewy finished look. I just look so healthy. Like, I don't know how to explain it. I just look healthy and moisturized, period. So now I'm gonna go in with a highlight or a concealer underneath my eyes to highlight. Let's go in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Chestnut. There we go. <laughs> and the way I like to do this, I'm just gonna do like one line going like near the bridge of my nose like that. And then going out underneath my eye in a little triangle like this. Boom. Same thing over here. Line going by my nose and then out under my eye. I'm gonna take my Black Radiance Foundation Stick in the color Chocolate Dipped. It looks like this, very chocolatey. And I'm gonna use this as my contour. So I'm gonna go, hmm? I'm gonna go above this line. So I'm gonna put my contour like right here on my face, like so. Hmm? 
that and I'm gonna do this part of my face make like a Y here and then down the middle like this so we're gonna start blending all of this out I'm gonna start with concealer under my eyes with that same fluffy foundation brush You see how that harshness went away? But I still have a nice contour on my face, on my nose, is because the blending, okay? So I'm just gonna put a little bit of contour around my forehead, just a little. And I'm gonna be using my Laura Messier Translucent Setting Powder, guys. I love this stuff. I'm so late on the trend of this, but thank God I got on when I did. So with this, I like to go in with like a different fluffy brush that I haven't really used yet. And I like to go in, get some product on there like this, tap the excess off, and then push it into my skin like this. Now, the best way to use this product that I'm seeing is to build on it. You don't have to put a whole lot on your brush the first time you use it. Just build layers on there. So I'm just doing a little bit by a little bit. And I'm setting the creases of my eyes that are, you know, I got a little oily. Next thing you're going to want to do is get you a big fluffy brush like so and just dust off any, if there's any like white cast or anything like that. But our setting spray is going to be taking care of most of that for us. So what I like to do next is set my face with the Morphe setting mist here. So I'm going to shake that. And the main thing about setting your face, you do not want to make any scrunches or just keep your face as relaxed as possible so for my blush i'm going to be using the juvia's palette the sahara blush volume one um this palette is so beautiful so many options for like the blush and whatever you want to go for so for my blush i'm going to use this pink shade right here very lightly a little bit of this goes a long way this is just going to help Put some color back into my face make me look a little more warm and after that i'm going to set my face again same thing don't need as much the second time i'm just really just setting those places that you just added makeup to so i'm just going to take some clear gloss and yeah put that on my lips and then you guys, I'm going to add some lashes off camera and I'll be right back on to show you guys the finished look of my everyday makeup that's gonna have you looking so flawless. And I'm also gonna take my hair down. So hold on for the big reveal.
Okay guys, and this is the end result of my everyday summertime spring look. You guys, this is something that you can put on every single day and look like you're natural, like you're just naturally beautiful, but you do got a little beat going on, you guys. Um, like I said, I just went ahead and curled my hair because I'm getting ready to take pictures, but let me know what you guys think of this look in the comment below. I love this look. It's timeless. It's in. It's popping, okay? So... If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, you guys. That's what helps. That's what helps me the most is the actual subscriptions. Go ahead and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Deuces!